Today we're going to evolve into the ultimate overpowered creature, but first we gotta do something like put things in our mouth. After we eat some poop, we turn into a butterfly. After the butterfly eats the pretty flower, we turn into a bee. We can eat pigs and we can eat cats. These early levels go by nice and easy because you just eat the stuff lying around. Eventually we need to eat other players, uh oh. So he actually evolved into a pigeon as he was trying to eat me so he can't hurt me anymore. So he actually evolved his way out of me. And now we're a better bee. And as a bee, we eat simple cherries on the cherry tree. My water levels are also low, that's something I need to remember, you do need to drink water. <laughs> Which generally is a dangerous place because everyone needs water so everyone congregates here. But I do for the first time have the ability to eat other idiots, so I can eat the flies or the mosquitoes. But since I don't have all day, I'm gonna eat ladybugs also. I've already evolved like seven times and we have so far to go. So it's a good thing I'm not starting this in the middle of the night. Oh, there's a fly right there. I could probably, uh, never mind. We turned into a pigeon. We've outsmarted ourselves. Now we eat bread, acorns, and worms. But there's also a lot of those, uh, dive bomby birds. So we need to be careful of those. But I'm going to swoop in and steal some worms and bread wherever I can. Oh, there's a big fight for all the bread. And I'm not going down into the caves yet. I'm going to avoid the caves for as long as I can. But I'm going to double bread it here because I'm greedy. Get out of my way, duck. To be fair, it's not so bad if you die this early because you go back a few easy levels. Dying later on really hurts. Ooh, more bread. I'm gonna eat both of these just to be greedy. This is a game that's just all about making choices. Wait, can I eat these? Is that the right fish for me? I think it is. It looks like they're outlined in green. It's just hard to get to them because these other idiots are in the way. I feel like I picked a very vi dangerous time to be on the server. I feel like there's just a lot of players and they're all very aggressive. Now we're a bluebird who also eats acorns and strawberries. But I'm gonna eat everything I can. I, actually, I think this is the one they can hide behind the bush and eat the purple berries. Or plums or whatever they are. I don't know. If you want facts and intelligence, don't watch my videos. Okay, I think I'm a chicken. So chickens can't really fly, but that's great. We're going to eat bread and worms and acorns and parrots if we could. Maybe I should just stick to acorns for now because acorns are very easy to get a hold of. I just realized I lay eggs. I'm feeding other players. That bat has his eyes on me. I need to be very careful how I move. Okay, those two are fighting, so that's good because those would have hurt. They still might hurt. I shouldn't be here. Yeah, I'm going to get trapped under all of this. Luckily, they're busy with each other. I'm just going to leave. I don't really remember where the frogs are. If I see some, I'll eat them. I think they might be on the edges of ponds. Okay, I found a frog, but I also found a lot of other things. So I'm going back the other way. <laughs> it's too dangerous over here. Going to see if I can sneak in there to get that little frog. I think that thing's also... Nope. Okay, it's a little bit hard to... There it is. Come on, you can do it. I can see why no one took this frog. I'm going to try and go for some fish right now. This is really risky because I'm very vulnerable in the water. But I'm also kind of lazy and desperate. This fish, this next fish, will be the one I need to level me up. But that turns me into the red bird so I can eat other creatures again. Like the mosquito. I tried to get him. Okay, he's he's free again. Uh, I'm going to run from the dragon and maybe harass this mosquito. There's so many things still that can hurt me. I need to be stronger. This bird's actually really nice because it eats everything. And there's stuff everywhere for me to eat, finally. These cherries seem to be pretty good experience. So I'm going to focus on them because there's little competition. And let's face it, I don't do well with competition. Ooh, there's a fly I could try and eat. I really should just stick to cherries more often. Cherries are so easy to eat. There's also one of those big dinosaur things sitting there blocking that cloud, so I gotta be careful. He's clearly waiting for an opportunity, and I'm starting to get to a pretty delicious level where things will eat me. Okay, I made it into bat mode. That means I can eat mice. The tricky thing with that is I have to go underground now, and underground is dangerous because you get trapped. But luckily I could make a good decision to save my life, so we might take a little look. Like, it's so sketchy trying to get these, because if something comes down here, I'm so trapped. And I don't really remember how well these work, and you can see, like, it's pretty clunky to maneuver. He's already coming for me, and I'm like a useless bat to him. I don't think he can fit in here, though, but I don't know if I want to hang under this tunnel. I think I want to find a better one. I mean, there are a few down there, and I do have perfect vision as a bat. Other, other creatures have blacked out screens around because they don't have night vision. Right, well, since there's a Grim Reaper in the neighborhood, I'm going to maneuver away for a sec. I need to eat, like, one more uh, rodent. But I think this is going to level me up to this thing. Anyways, I've got to go deep sea diving because this bird only eats sea creatures for some reason. I don't love the lack of vision I have, but I'll make it work. I think I'm just going to go a little bit deeper down in the water. If you're near the surface, things can see you and ambush you quickly. If I'm down here, I have a little more warning room. Oh, going deeper here is where the starfish are. So if we just avoid the sharks, starfish are better experience. I just need to not die. But I am going to refill my lungs before doing this because I might get stuck anyway. We'll see how this goes. Now we're a blackbird. They can barely swim, but look at all the fun things I can eat again. I think this one's going to be pretty straightforward, just eating fruit and crap on the trees. And in the bush, oh, I turned into a bee now. 
So now I have a 25% chance of stinging prey. So if I hit something, 25% chance to poison it, at which point it loses 2% of its health until it dies. Or it can wash it off with water, but I try not to let that happen. So we hit that <laughs> big boy. Uh, Pinito, whatever. Yeah, got him. Good experience. Well, the wasp is fun. I need to find bigger things to hurt. Yeah, I accidentally swam into, uh, flew into a fly, managed to eat him, so now we gotta eat dead fish. And I accidentally flew into a fireball and got pushed into a shrub, so this is falling apart quickly. As soon as I find water, I'll be okay, but I've gotta get to water, like, right now. That bird is gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm gonna go to the water, try not to get under him. Swim, 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 go, and I'm cl- no, I'm dead. Well, thanks, bird. Okay, we're back to the good old vulture, who just needs to eat one more fish. So we'll take this one, and now we're an owl, so we can eat all sorts of different things. Parrots and ducks are also good for me, but there's still a lot of high-level things around, so it's very scary to move. Ooh, that guy's double dead. Got him. Okay, I don't even know what just flew into me, but something did, and now I'm a red bird who can eat even more things. Even the wasps are a trade-off for me. Hey, enough bugs? No, I'm an falcon. Pretty sure I can eat chickens, uh, so depending on where he's going, I might follow him and put him inside my mouth. Oh, these things vault to the right and left. So I'll settle for woodpeckers for now and just, you know, keep eating whatever I can until uh, we'll get there. I don't know what can eat the sharks, but it's not me yet. There's a duck that's awfully trapped. <laughs> it's a sandwich. Okay, I don't know if we're going to get the duck, but we're going to try our best. Because I think if I use a speed boost, nope, still won't get him. Okay, I turned into an eagle because I accidentally ate another parrot. They seem to just wander into my mouth sometimes. Oh, now I can eat cats. That's my cat. Get out of here. Oh, and a bat. Yeah, I got the bat too. That was completely by accident. He just happened to fly into where we were. That pigeon looks awfully uh, eatable. Okay, we're going to get out of here. Oh, actually, I kind of want him though. Can I... Can I put you in my mouth, sir? Don't touch that. I'll take that, though. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, I got him by accident. There is a parrot on fire who I could probably finish off. Yep, got him. So now I eat specifically penguins and, I don't know, guinea pigs or something. Pretty sure penguins and stuff are to the far left, but I definitely am starting to be a pretty high-value target, so things will pretty actively try and eat me. Okay, this part is tricky because you can go down there into the caves, but those are like a death trap. I prefer going for the penguins up here but they don't spawn often and there's a lot of competition for them. Basically, this is a high stress part of the game. There's also these over here you can go into, but it's also very easy to get stuck in there and destroyed. I see a lone penguin, got him. Oh, that's not good, get away from him. Maybe I should just do a little bit of tunneling. I'll get experience nice and quick. These aren't like super fast experience, but I mean, I've got to eat something and I've got to stay in the upper level so I can see. So now I'm one of these, so I can eat all sorts of different things, including ducks that are trapped down here with me. But I still don't want to be trapped down here. I'd rather eat things like this and this pig and that duck. And we got one of these things too. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get him if I drop on him. And there's lots of food around somehow. I'm at a kind of a quiet part of the map, but there's still lots of things to put my mouth on. I really am enjoying playing as uh, this eagle or whatever I am because there's just lots of fun things to eat and annoy. Managed to get a nice kill on... I'm not really sure what that was, but I'm now a raven, so now I can eat even more things. I've located one of the red birds I'm supposed to be trying to eat really hard. And for some reason, it doesn't seem that worried about me. Like, he's just kind of nonchalantly flying around. But he is a lot better than me, to be fair, so I can understand his confidence. I've also realized that as a raven, uh, I can eat snakes. And I know where there are some snakes, and I haven't been over there yet, so I want to go get a change of scenery. And I'm on fire, <laughs> thanks to the swamp monster. This is very stressful. There's definitely some fish over here I can take away from the vulture. Get away from my fish, that's mine. Just managed to eat a red bird, which is pretty much top of the experience chain for me. Still got a ways to go. Because next I get to turn into a mad bat, and I can't remember what they eat, but it's more things again. So we have full vision in the dark, so we're very good underground. Uh, we can eat all sorts of things, and, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, hilariously, I took myself to the right side of the map, where I actually want to be is on the left side, where all the owls and stuff are, and definitely not those. We're staying way away from those. It's pretty crazy that I'm at 39th on the leaderboard, and I'm still just a bat. Like, I've got a ways to go, but there's clearly a lot of strong, strong players out there. Think, oh, I almost had that red bird. I'll take your woodpecker instead. Just became a little pterodactyl baby, which means I can eat sharks, or I can eat alligators, or yellow things. This does also mean I'm pretty vulnerable to a lot of things, and I'm going to go high over this point, because this is where lots of Grim Reapers spawn. I don't know if I can actually fight these directly. I don't know how this works, because that's going to hurt me a lot too. Then I'm vulnerable and things are going to eat me. The baby pterodactyl does have the ability to block the first hit, 
then I have a cooldown, but it's basically a shield. It's up right now, so I'm going to fly with confidence. Okay, I find my way over to the jungle on the far right side of the map. Somewhere here is where I find what I need to eat. Probably eat that crab fairly quickly, unless he eats it for me, but I think I got that. These are what I really need. I can eat these without taking any damage. And I'm already stressing out about getting eaten by everything around me as it is, so the more stuff I can eat stress-free, the better it is for me. This one upgrades me to a full pterodactyl, which means I can eat just about anything. Basically, I'm a bigger version of the pterodactyl, so I can eat crabs for sure. And I do have this shield that regenerates, but boy, it's going to be a lot to level this up into the swamp monster. The downside of the pterodactyl is it is huge, so it's a big target. Everything can and will hit it pretty easily. But my strategy before has been wait for things to go to the water for a drink and land on top of them and smother them in the water, kind of like this. Because things just have trouble getting away. And I got set on fire right away because I've so much experience that I'm going to fly away now. That was really close. Using this wildly unfair strategy, I've already gotten my way like almost 40% of the way through this uh, pterodactyl. There's also a parrot uh, who I'm going to go ahead and eat and this guy will probably also eat you and we're one of these now. The most depressed grape there ever was. I think these have the ability to poison people like that so once they're poisoned they've got to touch water so we basically guard the water. We are the gatekeepers unless they get eaten by something else I guess that's fine too. I think this one's hard because like you got to poison things and basically wait for them to die and if they get to water you got to poison them as soon as they leave again like that and then you just sit here and annoy people until they basically rage quit which i would if i was this guy because i'd be pretty annoyed he even says don't kill but i can't read very well uh oh is he gonna get away don't let him get away push him back oh we missed him so this is what i'm gonna be doing for the next several hours being a depressed pee Ooh, look at all these colorful birds over here yeah you all want to be poisoned Lots to work with here, and got you again, so good luck. Go swim to your next watering hole. Not sure I'm going to get him again, though. I got to time this. Got him. <laughs> He's probably pretty annoyed with me now. I would be. I'm almost annoyed with myself, and oh, what a good move. This red bird, I'm doing a very good job of just keeping out of the water. He keeps trying to fake me out. There he goes, but too late. So good news, I've had to start this process entirely over again, thanks to some poor decisions. But the kind of silver lining to that is I've made it back here fairly quickly because I now have a 130% experience boost instead of a 30. Basically because I still had a premium account from way back when, so experience is easier than ever before. But the big experience boost really does help. Now I'm not as worried about dying because I can make my progress back again. I am also poisoned this thing and I pushed away up here so it can't get to water anytime soon so he just slowly dies. Alright, good talk. Now we're one of these. So I need to eat rocks. There are rocks around somewhere. I'm not even sure what can hurt me as one of these. I don't know where the rocks are, but there's one here, so we'll enjoy that. Also, because I have a premium account, I have this little thing also helping me eat stuff, which is actually really helpful. I don't need to be as accurate as I used to be. Basically, this kind of turns into pay to win now that I think about it. Anyways, I'm this beautiful creature, so I've got to go over to volcano land. I can swim in lava, but I've got to go eat some eggs, which can be a dangerous spot for this. So I've made it all the way to the far right side of the map, and now I need to eat these things carefully because there are things that will stalk me down here and hurt me. But because of my experience boost, I don't need to more than a few of these, and I'll be the next creature. And a Grim Reaper made it in here and killed me because of course it did. Okay, I finally evolved past the rock uh, monster lava thing, so now I can be this little weirdo eating these things. I don't know what my ability is. Oh, we can swim in lava, we can quench our thirst in lava, and we can paralyze things for four seconds when we hit them. Still can't touch those little lava weirdos, but I think with my experience boost, I can just eat these eggs. And my little helper will also eat them, so I don't even actually have to get all that close to them. And I'm much more comfortable being down here now that I can see what's around me. That feels better. But now I'm also this little guy, who needs some water, but I can also drink the lava. Now, this guy's abilities. We have a 1 in 3 chance to light things on fire when we touch them, then they lose 5% health per second, so it's another poisoning game. Plus, I'm so tough at this point that um, things are going to have trouble hurting me. There's not many things that can hurt me, and we can even eat pterodactyl children. So if you need me, I'm going to be here trying to light things on fire. I'm just going to be ramming into everything I can. I feel like this guy really would be good underground because he's so small, he takes up little room, and he has perfect night vision, so you could really get in there and mess with some caves. The problem is I'm also very vulnerable in the caves. But we can take a quick look. That guy knows he's in trouble. He's on fire, losing 5% health per second. There's water around, so he'll probably get away. But we can still harass him for a second, see if we can get him. 
Uh, I think I'm going to stick to my wall strategy right here because things race here and then they got to stick to the wall and move upwards. There's just a lot of collisions here and the more collisions I have, the better I am because I light things on fire. I also got poisoned by that guy who's also on fire because of me, so we're kind of trading off there. I'm not going to battle with one of those, it's too risky right now. A pterodactyl though, I will try and light on fire because that would be really big experience. And aside from that, I can just be a little terror of the caves right here. Lots of things like to go in and out and if they get on fire in a cave, they're probably quite dead. If I can just touch him once and light it on fire... Oh, there's water down here. I didn't know that. That's still a really bad spot for that thing to be, though. Because all I gotta do is touch it a little more and it's dead. And here's a duck I can eat. I should just stay in the caves. Ooh, here's a whole jam up of different things. A bat is very high experience. It's the top... one of the top things I can eat. So we're just gonna kind of keep it <laughs> away from the water and we got him. I also managed to get a raven trapped and on fire. Uh, don't know if he's going to make it out in time. I'm going to leave him alone because I think he's probably doomed anyway. Uh-oh, I might be doomed too. Well, that's karma. <laughs>